my dope in the bush. Dope in the bush. I know how to do it. Bitch, good look. Bitch, good look. Bitch, good look. Dope in the bush. I know how to do it. Yeah. 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 I did the digital dash. I put a bitch. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Akira, back with another video. I have so much to tell y'all. Like, I can't even believe this happened to me. Um, I want to get straight into this because y'all not even going to believe this because I still can't even believe it. Um, today is December... Let me check my phone. December 18th okay um my birthday was december 13th that was sunday if you don't know already i've been planning my birthday like since october easily november um definitely october and let's just say when nothing is planned for the and this happened to me on my 21st birthday i've made all these plans and nothing went as planned so definitely not planning no more birthdays that's for sure and, okay, let me try to get straight into this craziness. <sighs> I got to curl my hair. I'm going to do a get ready with me. I'm going to curl my hair, do my makeup with the little bit I have left. And, yeah, I don't even know where to start for real. Like, um, so my 25th birthday was December 13th. I planned this trip to go to Vegas. For my birthday so it was me my close friend Vic my close friend Flo my close friend Stancy uh, my boyfriend and his friends so I had booked everything before everybody so like my hotel with my friends and stuff my flight I booked that way in advance in like October and then instantly after that I started shopping I bought my birthday dress I was gifted my purse and shoes by my boyfriend to go with my birthday dress. Like, so I'm really intensively planning this. Like, and I'm intensively planning this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm literally losing weight to fit in my dress. It's because I found out how to CB. But I needed, I wanted a medium and it was sold out, but I really, really wanted it. So I got a small and I've been in the gym. So that's my motivation to fit into this birthday dress. But I got it from the house of CB. I don't think I'm gonna try it on. I'm gonna wait till closer in December. Y'all see me try this dress on, struggle. My sister had to help me in it. I'm talking about, I had a waist trainer on, everything. And I just was able to put this dress on by myself might i ask Let's imagine this with by the myself ysl she heels with the gold heel i can't wait to wear this on my birthday like period baby and i'm still got weight to lose so money it's just my ass get better yeah it's a little short but i'm gonna make sure we're yes good panties it's like I'm planning, I'm ordering stuff, doing try on hauls. Like, y'all seen, you know, that's where the content came from. So, fast forward, waiting all this time, talking about the trip, hyped up about the trip. Get out there. Um, I, could, I wasn't able to check into my hotel just yet. I couldn't check in until three, but my flight landed at like. I want to say nine in the morning. Your girl made it to Vegas. And I got my bags. We didn't lose no bags. Thank you. I'm going to their little Uber lift shit. Um, I'm just going to catch a lift to the Airbnb that my boyfriend got. And then I'm going to go check in the hotel later on because it's nine o'clock in the morning. So it's too early for me to check into my hotel. So yeah. Here we go. Like it was early when I got there. It was too early to check in. So my boyfriend had a Airbnb close to the airport. So I of course go to his Airbnb to drop my bags and link up with him and eat and stuff. So when I get there, mind you, they've already been there a couple hours. 
Um, their flight landed before mine. My boyfriend and his friend, anyway. So they already ate. They cool when I get there. There was some difficulties with me getting to the Airbnb, and we kind of had some tension from that. And I'm telling y'all that so that the rest of the story makes sense. So we go to Walmart. I'm hungry. I'm like, hey, can you stop right there at this little taco place I see in the parking lot? I just want to put some waves in my hair, y'all. I'm not even trying to curl it for real. That's why I'm combing it right out. If you're wondering what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, I'm like, hey, can you stop right there? So he slick, got a little attitude, trying to rush back and accommodate his friends. And I understand that, but like, this is my birthday trip. And I, I think you forgot um, who we're all here for. And as bratty as that sound, I mean, it's the truth. I've been planning this trip for months. The food place is right there. I don't want to hear about your homeboys. Nothing about them. Like, sorry, not sorry. So we get into it about that. Mind you, before I even left, I couldn't finish my nails. And my nails, y'all, I did not get to finish my nails. I did get this one blinged, like it's shining. It's so cute. I love you want to get all of them like this. That would be so cute. But I'm going to play it safe. And when I'm in Vegas, I'm going to just get French tip out there. That'll give me something to do. Hopefully, they're open. We'll see how that is. Because, of course, I'm going to vlog it. My hair was supposed to be red, but I didn't. I wasn't able to get it colored because of timing. So things was already not going in my favor. And I was just like, you know, I'm not about to let this ruin my birthday week that I've been planning. So I'm going to continue, like, screw him. I'm going to go get my nails done. I end up getting these nails done. Well, I got this done in Atlanta, but the French tip I got in Vegas. So, y'all, I'm in the lift. I'm about to go pick up Vic. Um, I got my nails done. I found a nail shop. after. I got me something to eat. Well, I didn't even get nothing to eat because my appetite was ruined. But I got a margarita, and then I went to the nail shop and I just got the French tip done I think they did a good job like you can't really mess this up you know I went and got that done my friend one of my friends flight landed Vic is here y'all I had to come back to the airport to come get Vic because he lost his car and we got to get a rental car still <laughs> he trying to run for my camera <laughs> We still see you, clown. <laughs> I'm coming. I was really see you. Look how they got me back out there. It was already filthy. <laughs> yeah, mine broke. Mine broke. <laughs> My whole suitcase broke. Shout out to Vegas. I'm about to have a great time, okay? What <laughs> Um, I meet him at the airport and I'm like, okay, we're gonna try to go get a rental car Then I'm gonna go get my stuff so we can go check into my hotel now So he calls me like hey, we finna move around So what you want me to do with your stuff? And I'm like, well, I can't check in until 3 o'clock So he was like, well, I'm gonna put this stuff in the car and I'm gonna meet you at your hotel I'm like, alright, bet I go pick up my friend I'm really done with my hair I go pick up my friend Or whatever and we try to go get the rental car. We end up not being able to get it because he loses his credit card. I'm not 25 yet, so the original price is now way above the quoted price um, from the original, you know what I'm saying, when we booked the reservation because I'm not 25, although my birthday is in three days. So I'm just like, this is insane. So now I'm like, okay, my other friend landed. I'm like, okay, I got to get to the hotel. Everybody going to be ready to put their stuff up. So we go to the hotel. We catch a lift. So he like, hey, I call my boyfriend. Like, hey, I'm on the way to the hotel. You can meet me there. He like, bet. He calls me. He like, I get to the hotel. He calls me. I check in. He like, I'm on the way. I kid you not. Not even a, a minute later. He calls me back with this sound in his voice and I'm just like bro what's up like cause I already got an attitude with him because of the previous you know incident or whatever so I'm just like off him like bro what's up this man had the nerves to utter out his mouth 
y'all, that my bags were not in the trunk. So I'm like, bro, I don't have time to be playing these games with you. Like, bring me my stuff and stop playing. Like, I don't know what your MO this weekend is. Like, you know this is my birthday weekend. Like, I'm just going off, right? So we steady in the conversation. I'm getting pissed because he's steady on the same. He, and then he tells me, well, I'm finna go to the Airbnb and check and see if they're in there. So at that point, I really think he playing with me because I'm like, why would you even think they at the Airbnb if you just told me that you put them in the car to meet me at the hotel? Like, that don't even make sense. Just like, my guy, stop playing with me. So if you know me, like, I'm on 10. My friends are trying to calm me down. I'm like, I'm about to kill this nigga. I don't know why he playing with me. I'm like, all right, I calm down enough to be like, take me to the Airbnb now. So we catch a lift to the Airbnb, y'all. As soon as I get out the car, I start, I open the trunk to the vehicle, the rental car. Because I'm just like, bro, where is my bag? Stop playing with me. He walk outside with this stupid ass look on his face and I'm just like, Where's my bag? Bring me my bag now. Like, I got an attitude with him. I'm not in the mood. And he really still on that. So, like, it's settling in. Like, you really, you really telling me my bags are gone? Both of my suitcases with all of my clothes, my YSL bag, my Telfar bag, my birthday dress, jewelry, panties, bra, everything, all my makeup. What, what are you saying to me right now? We just landed. It ain't even my birthday yet. I ain't even got to celebrate nothing yet. Like, what? So, y'all, it was a fiasco. Like, we get into it bad because I'm still in the mindset of he got my stuff. But then eventually we call the police, file a police report, and I'm like, bro, this is real. This is really happening. So that killed the whole vibe, of course, because I have no clothes, no makeup, no nothing. They, everybody trying to make the best out of it, even though vibes were killed because, like, I ain't gonna lie, the argument went far. Like, the argument went far. I said some shit. I was fighting, like, it was crazy. It was bad. One of his friends ended up leaving, like, it was bad. So the people that I ended up staying, I wanted to leave, but I ended up staying because I still had one more friend flying in. I just felt so bad. You know, I, I, this isn't just my time being wasted. It's their time, too, you know, and they money. So I ended up staying, and we try to make the best out of it. We go out Friday night, um, and that was straight. I end up piecing the, together outfit because I end up going to the mall that morning and getting some, like, picking up a few things. But it just, you know what I'm saying? It was just very disappointing. Um, we went to the dispensaries. Like, we... Y'all, we made it to Vegas. And you know the first stop was the fucking dispensary. Um, this is what it's called. It's called Excel. So cute on the main look. Like we just tried to have fun. It just and then Vegas was really close. I, I'm spoiled because I live in Atlanta. And Atlanta, if you don't know, Atlanta been wide open. So all the rules and regulations and yeah, I'm not used to. So they really was like four people to a table at every place that we went to. And it was just like what? We here with like eight plus people. What do you mean? Like we're not spending money for two tables. So it was just really a buzzkill. I really should have stayed in Atlanta. It definitely was something to remember, if nothing else. Uh, a lot of crying, a lot of headaches. And I had to come back home with less than half of my makeup. I don't have any makeup. Like, I went and bought some stuff, and I I just got a boxy charm in the mail, so I'm about to open that with y'all. But, yeah, I can't believe that this happened to me on my birthday weekend. Like, And then, look, another thing. And then we try to go to the House of CB because that's where I got my dress from. This is the only mall in Vegas with the House of CB in it. We go to the mall. Why is the store closed, y'all? Out of all the stores in the mall, House of CB is closed. Like, I just felt so defeated. Like, I really did. And I was really trying to figure out what was the messaging out of this. What am I supposed to learn? Like, why is this happening? Like, the only thing I could think of is, like, to bring me closer with my relationship and show that he really there for me. 
Cause I did a lot for him not to break up with me for real. Or like, I just don't know. Like, I don't know. I've been trying to figure it out to make myself more sane. Cause I really have no idea. But I just got this new boxy charm, which I'm so thankful for because boxy charm really come through for me. Like in this instant, I went to the mall and just bought some products. But you know, makeup is expensive, so that's thousands of dollars worth of stuff. And with my boxy charm subscription, my makeup is already coming back up. I got a banana powder by Ofra. Oh, I would like to try that. I got a cherry tonka must body wash infused buffer. Okay, I got a Tarte mascara and I needed mascara, so that's really good. I got an Artist Couture Caliente palette, and this is really cute. Some really cute colors. And I got a MAC lipstick in Down To In Art. This looks like a really pretty fall color. I could probably even wear this springtime. I don't know if y'all can't see it. Yeah, but that's the color. Shout out to BoxyCharm. $26 for over $100 worth of products. Um, I love it here. I do. And they keeping me right. They get me back together because I really got to start all over. But we're going to do this journey together. Y'all are going to be able to see, you know, my new makeup and me try new stuff. So we're going to make the best out of this. I'm excited. I feel blessed. I have so much to come back home to. Um, I have so much to look forward to, so I can't let this moment bring me down. The devil is hating on me, clearly, because he knew the only way to bother me was to bother me on this particular weekend. Because out of all weekends, bro, I ain't never got nothing stole from me. Like, that's so crazy. Okay, I drew my eyebrows. I charged my camera a little bit. I put on my primer, and we just going to get straight into it. I am using new products or just like... Maybe a product I probably wouldn't have used before, but now, you know, um, like this. This Too Faced Born This Way. I actually do like this concealer. I like the brush size and stuff better than... The, I went and got me a travel size replacement of my NARS, but I do like this applicator better. I just need a um, another color because this one is a little bright. So, we just go start the damn process like yeah i can't believe that happened to me on my birthday so in my 21st birthday went a little something like that as well so it's just like at this point i feel like maybe and then i'm gonna go in i'm gonna go in with this fenty beauty foundation in 410 to go right up under this because this is a little bit bright this is a little brown though hold on that is way more brown than i um expected actually okay i should have just went ahead with this one okay we're gonna mix them all with that one because yeah Messed up. It's okay. That's the beauty of makeup, honey. But I can't believe I had a birthday like that. Like, and now look at me. But everything, everything happens for a reason. I do believe this. Can't be too upset. And just gotta see what's in store. I know that something great is in store. Um, and with that type of energy, I'm definitely gonna attract something. You gotta stay on high levels, even if you don't feel like it. For real, you can make or break you. Your mind, if you can control your mind, you a bad motherfucker. Seriously. That's what everybody be struggling with. For real. 
I'm gonna fix my baby hairs and stuff, so don't be trying to clock me. Let me bring y'all a little closer. But, yeah, crazy, right? All that planning, and I'm gonna insert clips. Like, I recorded a video of me the night I got into it with everybody, and I was crying, looking crazy. I got videos of me trying on my outfit. All the planning, like, had it not been my birthday weekend, first of all, I wouldn't have had all that stuff, you know, not my best stuff. And I wouldn't have cared as much, like, all the energy and the pre-planning that was put into that. And, like, now because we got into it about this and these events happen, I have nothing. Like, this has to be... A joke. Literally, that's how I felt. Like, I like this. Um, I feel like this is a little bright. Let me. Mm, I kind of like the brightness, though. I don't know. We'll see when I'm editing. But we just want to blend this out good, especially because we did all those concealers. But I feel like it blended out to a nice um, little color. Then, it's like then when I go to reach and then it's like I'll try to be over it but then when I go in my closet reaching for something or with my makeup I'm like you don't have that that's that hurt okay that is that hurt and like having to use these other setting I just bought that Laura Mercier setting powder now I'm over here finna play with this and I'm scared. When it's this bright, I like to just put it right here. And then we'll blend the rest out with. It's on there though. And I'm not a baker anymore. I like to just brush that shit on. I see the difference though. But I definitely think I'm gonna focus it. Like, does that look a little ashy a little bit? Oh, we gonna fix it. That's why I just wanna keep that brightness right here. I don't want it going nowhere else. I just used this Ofra banana powder. We'll see when I take a picture. Um, and one thing I am happy about being able to go buy a new is this Fenty Beauty Mocha Mommy. Okay, I love this bronzer. It has like that red tone in there that I love. And a bronzer. I'm looking for these brushes. It's like, I don't even know what to reach for anymore. I'm not used to these new brushes. Even though I do like a brush, but it's like, you want to build your brush collection, you know? But but I got these from Sephora. I, got, I just ran in Sephora and got like an eyebrow pencil, uh, a concealer, powder, like nothing crazy, some samples of some stuff. Cause I didn't come out here to spend money on this. I didn't. So it's like, I'm gonna just wait till I get home to start trying to replace stuff. But do you see how they just warmed my face up? Like, I love it. And I love this new brush cause how it's shaped. I don't know if you can see that, but it's perfect. Snatch that chin, honey. And I'm also going to put some on my eyelids. I took all my favorite eyebrow, like, eyeshadow brushes. Like, I'm sick. Just put some right up in there, blend it out. I love to at least put a shade on my eye and then use that same shade, which happens to be my bronzer for my nose contour. But I'm not gonna take it all the way down, I'm gonna just keep it right up in here. Ouch, right up in here and buff it out. So cute. 
get more color on the lid. So I love a good bronzer because you could just put it everywhere. Literally, eyes, cheeks. Like, I love it. But I am mad that I don't have my Anastasia Contour Palette anymore. Deep tan. Tan to deep because they don't even sell that one anymore. Like, literally, they don't even sell that one anymore. Which I don't understand why because that was a perfect palette. But you know how that go. Y'all ever got something stolen from you? Like, I've never been... I never got nothing stolen from me before. Like, I'm sick. Sick, literally. I feel like if you don't have eyeshadow underneath your eye, what are you doing? That's like something be missing. I can't believe I didn't used to do this. You ever learn a new trick and be like, it changed your whole life you be like what was I doing before blend that out then it's time for blush which I love I love blush and I'm using my Sephora blush which I never use but that's another thing about this is getting me to try new products in here that I've been having Cause you know how you just have your favorite and it be like, let me just do what I know. Cause who got time to be experimenting and messing stuff up? Not us, okay? But I just love blush. Like, do you see how it just warmed the face up? Let me turn this down a little bit. Y'all see how it just warmed my face up? Like, yes, blush. It's giving me all American, you know? And then I'm going to blend everything out. I'm going to do a little highlighter. I'm going to do a little bit. And I'm going to use this Milk Makeup Highlighter and Flex Highlighter. It's really bright. So we're going to be real careful. Real careful with this. Bridge of the nose. Let's make our contour. We did pop a little bit. And then, of course, the brow bone. Brow bone. Okay. Boom. We're going to do a little bit on the cheeks. Just a little bit. We're not going to go crazy. But I love how I'm able to still come home put a look together I can't dwell I gotta keep pushing my friends took me out last night so sweet and um yeah watch this makeup collection build up to be bigger and better I'm gonna put my lashes on I'm gonna put some powder on that's the only thing I'm missing powder and I still use my Sephora powder which is my MAC powder dupe and it's like ten dollars $10 cheaper. And then I just use this to blend everything. Y'all, I got these AirPods for my birthday, and like they always falling out. I'm always turning stuff off because when you touch it, it freaking stops the music or whatever. But I just be trying to push it back in my little ass ear. I don't be trying to <laughs> freaking turn it off. So annoying. But I like how this looks so far. Like I said, I'm putting my lashes on. Mascara. Let's try this new mascara I just got from Tarte out of my boxy charm. Oh, I don't like these bristles. I'm mad. Look at these little ass. You can't even see. What is this gonna grab? What is this gonna grab? Nothing. Ugh. Let's see. Um, it did a little something, but definitely not my favorite. 
Yeah, I'm not even. I don't even want to use this. I'm going to actually use my my Lancome sample that or try on that I got um, when I went to Sephora that day because baby that ain't cutting it. Mm -mm. Okay you guys this is my completed look and me I mean I was able to pull it together even though I don't have everything I, it was definitely something that I have to get used to and I'm going to rebuild um Comment down below if you ever got something stole from you and you bounce back tenfold, period. Because that's what God does, okay? Um, I love this look. Like I said, same makeup techniques. Just a little bit different products. But I'm happy and I'm healthy and I made it home. And it's just time to hustle, okay? I'm ready for 2021, period. Thank y'all for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Help your girl get monetized, okay? So I can start rebuying some of my stuff. We are going to try to go through the insurance, though. So, cross fingers. Uh, uh.